Welcome to week two of the Donut Team. Got some donuts here from Nick Favon. From Peace Love and Little Donuts. Never heard of this place, but some people have. He's, he he raves about it. He, he does. Well, they're boxes. little donuts like he's a little person, so. Well, <laughs> we, we actually we had to put the donuts on the thing up at the bar because he couldn't get them down. Well, yeah, we don't want, he's, he's down there jumping. I can see the top of his head hitting the bottom of the camera here. He's jumping. Come on now. No, no, he's he donated good, the donuts yes, to us guy. for our segment, so we can't do that. All right. Thank you, Dick. Sorry, Nick. For, Thank for you, the Nick. donuts. And when he called me, he was pumped. He was he was pumped that he had donuts for a when, when he came off the floor, he stopped, put his salt on his head. Nick just ran by in the background. To show you. He goes, I got something to show you. Come here. Like, All right. The top of his head barely crossed the glass as he ran by. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, anyway. All right, so we got, uh, we got choice All right. 12. So, uh, also, special guest here, Lenny Nogles. The big goon here, Big Frank. The other he's gonna, he's gonna help us try to eat donuts. Balls. No, so. we're gonna pick one and eat and tell you how it is. But they all look delicious, so I don't know. Yeah, I love donuts. That's what we got on our wing call. So Frank's gonna try. I want to try this one. That one looks like a Butterfinger. Yeah. There is a chocolate cake down here though, but I was told I wasn't allowed to have. That's that's a little kid's birthday cake for tomorrow <laughs> for for a birthday party. I wouldn't touch that. I'm gonna that. try this one. I don't know what it is, but it looks great. And we're gonna go it with this. It does taste one. like a Butterfinger. It's good. Make some beer in there now. How's it go with the with the beer? It actually goes great with the beer. I should go grab another one. So oh, you're drinking past, you're drinking glorified water there. Well, in the past, I don't bring the beer. I may have told you guys I'll try my donuts with beer, but hence there's a new rule that says I cannot drink beer with my life. So I could not do it this week. These are really good. Oh, look at this. We got our, our commissioner's walking in. Do you have a donut in your commission? Hey, <laughs> these donuts are delicious. You should try one. Where are these from? Peace. The little donuts Peace. came from the little man. Yeah, Nick Pavada donated tonight. Peace, love, and donuts from where? That's the name of the place. Peace, love, and tiny donuts. Well, get in there with them in the back there, Jim. Yeah, get over in the Jim. picture. Come on. It's a full house now. Oh, yeah. Favada's head just went by again. I thought you were talking about somewhere else. No, his head went, his, hey. we've seen his head go by twice now, just a tip. I wonder why these guys are smiling. But this is some kind of salted caramel donut. I gotta delicious. back up so I can get all you big fuckers in the picture. This is very delicious, the salted caramel donut. This is a plain donut with chocolate and Reese's on top. It's really good. Real basic. Mm -hmm. Jim, how's that creamy one you seem to be liking over there? This is a fry cake with the most delicious cream cheese on top. It's so good. You've not had better cream cheese. No. I can bet I can whip some up for you. It's pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> this really softens the blow after losing the band. Wow, this is cheating. I gotta, find, no out cheating. This, I gotta find out where this place is. There was a lot of in some plans over by where he was to pick him up. Uh, he was trying to tell me, I'm like, I'm not from around here, so I'm not familiar, but you gotta Thank tap your heels three times and say, I want donuts, I want donuts, I want donuts, and you go. Yeah, to which brings me to another point. Anytime you guys want us to try to do Particular place, by all means, we didn't even know this place. We didn't even know he donated them for our, our podcast. So I'll just take good. another one because I was intent. I was going to come Thursday with some cannoli donuts from Hollis. I, I, I think this is actually deserving of us to lay off Nick for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> I'm picking it up. Great job, Nick. I think Nick's a great guy. He did yeah. good. Nick is a great guy. I just love busting his balls because I don't see his head explode. Trying to have donuts. It was great. Nick I'm is, fat, so I'm Nick is a good guy. That's okay. Yep. Four of those equals one Paula's, so I mean, you guys are good. Yeah, these are good. You did yeah. good. Yeah, oh, that was really so, good. Well, now that we've discussed the donuts, what else are you guys going to discuss tonight? Jesus, my finger, I keep finger banging the camera here. Well, unfortunately, the Sabres are losing, but the Penguins are up 3 to 2 on the cap, so that's good news. Cleveland Browns got Odell Beckham. Yeah. yeah. What? Yep. Yeah. Odell Beckham went to Cleveland? Traded for a first, a third, and Gibraltar. Now they got, what's his name from Kansas City, if he doesn't get suspended, the, the running back that got yep. kicked, you know, for kicking the girl. Yeah, they got the guy from Miami last year. Holy shit, and they got Johnny Mayfield. They, 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 they got, got anyway. Baker Mayfield. Even, even if they had on top for most of the season, they have uh, Nick Chubb. Guys, they have a team. They have yeah, Jarvis Landry. And, and the Bills got Cole Beasley and fuck John Brown. All right, so are you gonna are you gonna interview Frank or is that it? Bye guys. That's it. I, I got another bar. The donuts were excellent. Thank you guys.
Welcome to Tuesdays and hopefully welcome to Thursdays, Frank. I hope so. I gotta get yeah, I gotta do is get on the list, Frank. He's, yeah, on, the he's list. on the Thursday list. Last time he told me I was first on the list. Now I got bypassed by your ugly mug and Eric Boom. I don't know how you got went to the bottom of the list. <laughs> oh, I know how. There was a twenty put in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we got our commissioner in here. Um, would you like to discuss uh, the new rule about um, the alcohol, Jim? Because I did explain it to them, and he kind of, Jamie said he wasn't drinking beer with his donut because of the new rule yep, before his you. game. So do you want to explain to everybody, please? Yeah, it's um, basically, guys, you know, we want to just, don't want any instances. We're not saying anything was caused because of the alcohol. I know there's a couple guys that are a little upset over the new rule. But we just, we never allowed drinking during a game. That was something that always has been, in most leagues, not allowed. So I don't know why all of a sudden guys think it's okay. The only so, time that I saw it before this was during the All-Star game and, and during tournaments. Yes. If it's a special event or, or some of that, we make it acceptance. Right. But in regular season play, it should never happen. And consequently, don't want to have it before the game either. Because you don't want to step on the floor, you're all shit faced, or you're a little tipsy. God forbid somebody gets hurt, that's a lawsuit, a yep. big time. So that's all we're cutting it down for. It's common sense in my book. A lot of people feel the same way. Some people don't agree, but that's what the rule's going to be, guys. So, um, have a donut instead? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. come to the donut exchange. Well, yeah, exactly. Just wait until Dan much. picks heads. Plenty of donut shops so, out there. And, and feel free to have pops after, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we have no problem with that. Um, like I said, there's a lot of plans to make this place even better. Um, if we can get the fundraising going, there's already a concrete pad in the back. I'd like to build a shelter so in the summertime when the weather finally gets nice, we can hang out there, bring in a room, have some beers, you know. Look for knee pads. These are uh, found gym shots. Uh, oh, yeah. Mine's a lot bigger than that, trust me. So, yep, no, I can agree with that. Um, Dan and I have come from a place where you can drink on the bench and drink during games and all that stuff, too. But you can also always tell when the guy's had too much and he's getting out of hand on the floor. And I'll be transparent a couple times. I played in here, and I know I was playing against someone who's probably had too much to drink, and it ain't fun. You can't really so drink before play. play. Like ice hockey, I can't move. I guess, I guess, good. At cruisers, it used Sorry to be, guys, I gotta move forward a little. My arms are starting up. Yeah. At cruisers, it used for me it used to be one shot and one, one beer before a game. It used to settle me down a little bit, and that was more or less because I had. I could never drink 20, or eat before a game. Yeah. Maniacs chasing me around, but uh, here never, it was just it was always just one, and then it was done. And never I had to be altered too because if I tried to drink blue or Canadian before. Never a game, drink or eat heavy. before a game. I, I end up throwing up in the garbage can yeah. like Terry Kostowski. So, yeah, was, now I'm not saying that I. Am. Play Sunday mornings at Mineral a few times after a night of drinking. Oh, I went right from the bar to Mineral. Are you yeah, kidding me? Yeah, yeah. That, that's happened. <laughs> that didn't count. That was back in the day. So, are we expecting you back on the podcast this week, or should I get some material? Or um, I'm crashing. I was actually going to talk to you about that. I, it's something that with my schedule and um, Thursday we're going to talk, and that's why I invited you guys Thursday. Um, so I'll, I'll break it here because Thursday will already happen. I'm going to be. I didn't want to still, put you on the spot either. No, no, no. I'm still going to be overseeing everything for the media. And there's a lot to take on for one person. So I will still oversee everything. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. Okay, sorry. Everything's got to go through me. Like, like I just talked to Paul. If that shot game went through me, I knew about it. I would have said, it's not a bad idea, so let's push it for the All-Star game when it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, so if it gets out of hand, who cares? Right. Um, yeah. So, stuff like that. Ooh. And, and so I think the podcast, because I can't be here every minute. I was going to see if you wanted to take over the podcast. I can help bring it. Yeah, and I would, I'll, 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 I'll step in once in a while. I'll give my ear. Special guest. You know, special shots guys. fired. Shots fired. But uh, I just think, you know, as you guys know, like my mom's not well, so it's tough. You know, and there's I've had criticism from people that are like, well, you need to be here more. It's not a full time job for me. I've tried to move this. Oh, 
So, hold on. Again, if I can interject, neither me nor Jim get paid for this. Right. So, you guys, we do it for the love of the game and the love of the league. I, I mean, I, I would kind of question things if your model was different if you were Jim. Yeah. Yeah. I'm putting it up on you. You should be here. Right. You have yeah. people that you can delegate to. And, and, and they're just things. I mean, we've tried to get Jake at this court clock all game, and I haven't worked. So. Yeah. The, the thing that hurts me is I've heard from a few people that think I'm actually getting rich off the BB help. And I've been called the uh, name actually on Facebook, so <laughs> I won't address that, but that hurts me because it's something I've put my heart into for three years. And uh, I get paid a little bit more since we've gone to four nights, but we're talking, I went from 50 bucks a week to 100 bucks. There you have it. That's how much you get paid, guys. It's 100 bucks a week for all this bullshit you give right. us. So. Uh, I used to put it this way. I used to get 100 bucks for repping Sunday night eight games at Mineral. So that tells you, it gives you an idea. Like, we were going to actually joke around and talk to Paul, see if I get one of those real fancy cars. Like, <laughs> get, I was going to get all like, supplied this at BDL. Like, like, all right, I'll fix you guys. You know? like, <laughs> Just, it's just for the day. <laughs> yeah, that's right, bitches. Uh, but no, it's, it's, it's honestly for me, and, uh, and I gotta say, I, I, I didn't ask for it, but uh, I was feeling pretty down over a few people's comments. I'm not gonna lie, because I'm like, you know, for me, I, I, just, I want everybody to enjoy it and have a great time, and uh, it really was bothering me. And then out of nowhere, the people don't know what's going on. Right, you know? right, right. But out of nowhere, there's been a lot of guys that didn't know what was going on and said very nice things the last few days and it's made me feel a lot better. Like, I mean, I know the guy, a lot of people think he's an ass, but Chris Farr, I mean, he wrote this thing about how awesome the BDL is and I mean, this long paragraph and that he gets to interact with people he never thought he would, um, that made me feel good, you know? Um, I mean, Tom Siegel said nice stuff, even Moose. He was trolling good. Oh, good. Man. Man. He was. oh God, that's all Siegel does all day. He ain't good at it. I he thought I was good. Was that dude's so really good. You and Siegel are like, I you guys You guys like shit like, like right away. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I know. I was like, I was trying to like diffuse the situation. I'm like, Angel, he's just trolling. Yeah. He's just, honestly. Dude, your Sasquatch you, picture, you it was me. up and he made, a cha he made a comment like, the thing didn't even finish loading on my side where it said your post is ready and he already commented. I was like, Jesus. That's awesome. Sasquatch is a lot be, nicer than a lot of other things people have called me. So. You gotta be careful when you come from those West Side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's, that's yeah. He's got a box cutter in his back pocket. Yeah. Um, so. but the good news is he doesn't have that time. So, so he thinks you're gonna be here at seven thirty. <laughs> They're gonna get away with it for at least fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, you know, things are going well with your mother, and if you need anything from Dan or I. Yep. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I love this segment, by the way, because donuts are very close to my heart. So <laughs> they're, probably, they're very, they're, they're, uh, they're, uh, they're, uh, look at this. Look at what these guys did to these things. They're uh, really close to his heart. Now, here, have another one, boys. Uh, and let's close it out. I got to yeah. play. I got to play the one for now. If I had a large glass of milk, I'd wait down the rest of those donuts. But, I had a uh, beer. I had another one, certainly. But uh, after the game, we can have one. Yeah, you know, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, so I think I'm going to crash the podcast this week because I didn't know you were going to be here. Yeah. I just blocked the freaking camera again. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to uh, crash it now that I come on Tuesdays. Speaking so. of crashing podcasts, are you guys noticing Chris and Chris, the chirp and chirp from Sunday mornings, are they, crashing everybody's? They're podcast. not crashing our podcast this week. They they did it last week. Well, though. we're locking the door this week. We need to get down. Yeah, I'm not going. I don't know where Chris Higgins lives, and I, I don't know when they do it. I'm not getting up on Sunday morning. I know where he lives. <laughs> he doesn't shoot down Sunday morning. You find out when he's shooting and we'll crash it. You got it. We'll go, you, know, you know what we should do is have Turvey and them crash it with their turtle heads. That'd be great. That'd be freaking hilarious. Just, yeah. I'll be honest though, they did make the Wednesday podcast a lot more entertaining this week. <laughs> I'm, no, you know what? The, <laughs> the two best Wednesday podcasts were this week's and when Zach which was, was drunk. Was drunk, yeah. 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 Told his mom to F off and hung up on her. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. My mom won't call during the podcast. Mom, I'm podcast. <laughs> I watch Thursday because it's usually shot. Look, there's Pelkey in the background giving us some tongue. How unbiased it is. I'm not going to lie. The Wednesday podcast is great for napping. It's awesome. It's Dude, it's, it's like watching best. a Bill Belichick interview. Yeah, no, it's even better. Like when I was a kid, 
at high school, I used to remember Bob Ross, the painter. Yeah. I would put that on. People were like, why are you watching that? I'm like, within five minutes, I was sound asleep. Like, his Little voice trees, would just put me to sleep. Fluffy clouds. Yeah. It was awesome. Like, Zach just does the same thing to me. Thank you, Kev. <laughs> Without the afro and the paintbrush. Yeah. yeah. I like Thursdays because they only mention the same guys. Yeah. I, however, I think Davis would look good with an afro and a paintbrush. Well, Tuesdays only mention the same guys, too. True. Yeah. Yeah. So. Did, by the way, did you like my comment? When he was making fun of Bernie and saying one, two, three, I'm gay. I'm like, now nah, it explains why he blows yeah. Bernie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Dude, I, I, I love Bernie. Bernie's, Bernie's like we a brother know, to me. You don't understand. Bernie's my boy. Here, uh, no, to that's, that's for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's for my you wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's you wrap this up, boys. <laughs> I'm blushing. All right, so in closing, if there's any donuts you guys want to try, any yep. donut places that you guys like, or anything like that, you guys one out first. want to bring in, great. If not, you want to send it in the comments or something. I'd like these donuts, and I'll go get them or something. We'll do that, too. I think we should merge the Thursday, the, 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 the donut exchange with the Wednesday try the beer. They yeah. should well, do that. I, that was going to be something I wanted to try. You guys should. I'll, I'll try a beer and a donut. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw shots or take it. Does anybody watch that shit and it really Kevin come I love Kevin. He comes across as the biggest freaking beer snob. I'm not saying anything. He was talking about the I porn one way. Crap. I dude. used to play hockey, you know. I'm waiting for him to put his pinky up as he's taking a beer. Boz. Like holy He's not drinking tea. Boz is the we know a guy we play hockey with his name's Bob and his name's Foz his nickname is like Fozzie Bear. He's the biggest beer snob ever. And you go on his his social media and he's Got like lit pictures of beer bottles and talking about how my brother was like, warm story. and fuzzy it is yeah. and how hoppy things are yeah. and I'm like, but my brother-in-law also got me hooked on Golden Monkey and Mad Elf, which are both really good. Beers. See, I'm like old school, like I, like back when I sold beer, like you, you drink Mad Dog 2020, we know. Who did oh, yeah. that? Fucking Saint I. He still does. Magnum. Fuck, hey man. Not your condoms, Colt Jim. Your drinks. <laughs> yeah. You give her the Colt 45, and then you give her the Magnum. You know, there's nothing better. There's nothing better than Colt 45 and some booms. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just All right. saying. Drink anything. No, 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 no. When I was selling beer, like it was like there was no craft. I was selling craft before craft got big. I actually Southern Tier when they opened up, I was the first salesperson for it. Like I sold Southern Tier. They actually had just a plain box. With IPA, it was like a green box. IPA. So it was like Bell's beer. Yeah, it was like no, because no, it was the toughest sell because nobody knew. And then I, I would have been rich if it was because I had the best crafts before it hit. I had Great Lakes, all the stuff that's big now. But for me, great beers are like the German beers, like Spot or uh, Hefeweizen. Like that's good. Sounds shit. like Nazi beers to me. Yeah. My last name is Shot, okay? But I All am right, Italian Shot's too. fired. I am Italian too, so I'm just saying. <laughs> do, do you love Oh, you know what happened? Yes. You, you, do you you're... know that David has a lot shirt? I, I may, oh <laughs> but I'm not going to confirm that. I, my arms are getting really, we got to uh, wrap this up. But no, like Newcastle Brown. It's shaking, album. dude. This is going to be terrible to watch. If you got epilepsy, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're an epileptic, do not watch this podcast. Ooh. The other thing is we do have to talk to Frank. We can't have donuts on the bar and have them win. A birthday cake. cake here, yeah. That Where's, all right, let's see the cake. Have Dan's having a cow over this yeah, cake. I mean, because that, that cake right frosting. here. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that looks delicious. Like it's, it's got, got candles and everything. Dan, no, Dan, I mean, look, there's drool on his lip. You guys saw that? I had something on my chin. Jesus. Jesus. All right, can we, uh, can we wrap up, though? Yeah, so yes. All right. Cool. I'm good. You're good. That's this week's Donut Exchange. Yep. Peace. Thanks, guys. See you next week.